Robert Smith of The Cure, welcome to the Band Lab Enemy Awards 2022. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah, so you're good. an Enemy Awards veteran. How does it feel to be back? With what, sorry? You're an Enemy Awards veteran. How does it feel to be back? Um, it seems like I've, I haven't left this room, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've only been out twice since I was last here. So, um, yeah, no, it's good. It's, it's nice to see a room full of people enjoying themselves. I've forgotten what it looked like. So. <laughs> what do you get out of the Enemy Awards that you don't get out of, like, other dues like this? Um... It, it, honestly, it's a, it's a really mixed thing. If I, you know, I'm at an age where I could be honest. So it's, it's like the the upside of it is that you feel like you're part of something which is like really it's like an unusual, very vibey event, and it's like it, and it's it's weird though because all award shows are weird because <laughs> they're actually a lot of the things you know, like you get on stage. It's almost like you're competing with people about music, and it's to me it's like the worst. You know, you're not, I don't think you should be covered. Well, I, I appreciate that, that there's a reason why, you know. But like walking out and playing songs, it, it also makes you feel like you just want to keep playing music. I mean, it's like I was just saying to him, I wanted to keep going. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm normally used to playing three hours, so like three songs is a bit, you know. But we'd have gladly had you do that, but you just played two songs for churches today. Yeah. What is it about churches that makes you feel like they're kin spirits with you? Um, I've been aware of them right, right since they started, and I just, um, and Lauren's got such a fabulous voice, that's the most obvious thing. I just, I really like, just something, it's hard to, to say sometimes why you like one band and not another. They've just got that something that I was always really attracted to it. The, the melodies are really good, and um, the songwriting's really good, I, but, but I just like kind of what they are. I yeah. don't know. They're just like, they're, they're a good bridge between, so when, when I want to. I don't dance, but when I move to dance a bit, it's, it's churches is that kind of music that I, you know. Yeah. And the last time we had you here, we talked about a potential two or three albums on the horizon. Did we? <laughs> they were in the works, we didn't know what was happening. Um, we understand there's at least one that's nearly ready to go. Yeah, I, I split the, um, the, the album, that, like, so I've been working on two Cure albums. Um, and one of them's finished, but unfortunately it's the second one that's finished. So the first one is, I've got to do four vocals, so it's ten songs on each album. But um, we're mixing next month, 1st of April, yeah. we start mixing. So I've got three weeks left to finish, you know. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll be there. I've got, I know, I know what it's called. Oh yeah, go I'll on. tell you what it's called. Yeah. It's called Songs of a Lost World. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. And it's got so, artwork and it's got a running order, so it's like it's almost done. It's and it's like, coming this year. It will be out in. I mean, the way they, they're so slow because of vinyl and stuff, but it might come out as early as like September, probably. I yeah. Think. I'd rather it just came out. I can't stand the anticipation for much. Longer. It's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember mean, you previously said that you had an album of pop songs and an album of unlistenable noise. Yeah. Which category does that fall into? Well, the first Cure album is relentlessly doom and gloom. Yeah. I have to say, it is the, it is the, like, the doomiest thing that we've ever done. The second one is, um, is upbeat, and my one is, won't be out till next year. But that's, yeah. I have to keep revisiting it because I, it's... Uh, it's a thing that I've wanted to do for so many years that when I, I realised I got one shot of doing it. So I've now started to add real instruments, uh, like acoustic instruments. Whereas like this time, two years ago, was it two years ago? Yeah. It was literally just feedback. Yeah. But I've kind of grown a bit disenchanted with it. <laughs> I've listened to it like three times. I think it's rubbish. So, um, yeah, I'm not so worried about that. But the Cure album is just, we're about to mix it. So that's, that's the deadline. So yeah. artwork, title mixing so it, it will be real very soon so. and you previously said it will be out by the tour what else can we expect from the tour mammoth sets the usual um there's quite there'll be quite a lot of different things actually about the tour but i'm not in a i, can't, I hate to be coy but i mean i'd wanted to announce it when i'm ready to announce it but yeah it'll be it'll be different what we're doing when we go out next time will be different to what we did last time Amazing. not just songs but the whole thing will be kind of different so looking forward to it. robert smith of the cure thank you so much for coming back thank you very much